Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss the parallelogram construction when two sides and height are given. Suppose we need to construct a parallelogram with its two sides of measure 5 cm and 4 cm and the parallelogram is of height 3 cm. So consider this rough figure of the parallelogram which we have to construct with its two sides say PQ and QR of measure 5 cm and 4 cm respectively and the height is given as that is QT is given as 3 cm. So to do this construction we need to follow certain steps of construction So our first step would be draw a straight line PQ equal to 5 centimeters. So we have drawn a straight line PQ of measure 5 centimeters. Now in the next step we draw Qx perpendicular to PQ. So this is Qx drawn perpendicular to PQ. Now as the height of the parallelogram is QT of measure 3 centimeters, so with Q as the center and 3 centimeters as the radius, draw an arc cutting QX at the point P. So this is the arc that we have drawn taking Q as the center and radius equal to 3 centimeters. At this point of intersection of this arc and QX, we point T. So we now have QT of measure 3 centimeters. Now in the next step, we draw YZ parallel to PQ through the point T. So we have drawn this YZ parallel to PQ through the point T. As we know that in a parallelogram opposite sides are equal, so as PQ is of measure 5 cm, so RS would also be of measure 5 cm, and as QR is of measure 4 cm, so PS would also be of measure 4 cm. Now, in the next step, with P and Q as centers, in turn, and radius equal to 4 centimeters, draw arcs to cut YZ at points R and S. So we have drawn this arc taking P as the center and radius equal to 4 cm such that it cuts YZ at the point S. In the same way, we will draw another arc on YZ through the point Q taking 4 cm as the radius. Let this point of intersection of this arc with YZ be point R. 
and next we join QR and PS. So in joining QR and PS, we get the parallelogram PQRS in which PQ is of measure 5 cm, QR is of measure 4 cm and QT is of measure that is the height of the parallelogram is of 3 cm. So PQRS is the required parallelogram. Now let's see the construction of the parallelogram when its height, one side and one diagonal are given to us. Again we consider the same parallelogram PQRS in which PQ is of measure 5 cm that is one side of the parallelogram is given to us. Then its height is given as, which is QT, it is 3 cm and one diagonal, which is PR, is given to us as 8 cm. Now for such a construction in which we are given the height, one side and one diagonal of a parallelogram, some steps would be same as in the previous construction of the parallelogram when its two adjacent sides and the height is given. Now, the step 1, step 2, step 3 and step 4 would be the same for this construction also. That is, steps 1, 2, 3 and 4 are same as in the previous construction that is we have now drawn one side of the parallelogram that is PQ of measure 5 cm and the height of the parallelogram given by QT of measure 3 cm so our next step in the construction would be with P as the center and 8 centimeters as the radius we cut an arc on YZ so we have drawn this arc taking P as the center and radius equal to 8 centimeters let this arc intersect YZ at point R and we join PR to get the diagonal of the parallelogram of measure 8 centimeters so then we join PR. As we know that the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal, so as PQ is given as 5 cm, so RS would also be of measure 5 cm. Then the next step with RS the center and 5 cm as the radius, we cut an arc on YZ. So we have drawn this arc taking R as the center and radius equal to 5 cm. Let this point of intersection of the arc and YZ be S. Now we join PS and QR also. So, we get this parallelogram PQRS that we have PQRS is the required parallelogram. 
So in this way we can construct a parallelogram when it's one side, one diagonal and height is given to us. Now we discuss the parallelogram construction when height of the parallelogram, one side and one angle are given to us. Suppose we have to construct the parallelogram PQRS in which its side PQ is of measure 5 cm, its height QT is given as 3 cm and angle QPS is of measure 50 degrees. Now let's see how we can construct such a parallelogram. For this construction also, these steps 1, 2, 3 and 4 of the construction of the parallelogram when its two sides and the height are given would be the same. That is, we draw one side of the parallelogram, its height. So, steps 1, 2, 3 and 4 of the construction of the parallelogram when its height and the two sides are given would be repeated for this construction also. So we have drawn one side of the parallelogram PQRS which is of measure 5 cm and we have drawn the height QT of measure 3 cm of the parallelogram PQRS. As we have angle QPS is of measure 50 degrees. So here our next step would be at P make angle QPS equal to 50 degrees cutting YZ in S. So this is angle QPS of measure 50 degrees. Next we know as the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal, so as PQ is of measure 5 cm, so RS would also be of measure 5 cm. So in the next step, with S as the center and 5 cm as the radius, draw an arc cutting YZ at point R. So we have drawn this arc taking S as the center and radius equal to 5 cm such that it cuts YZ at point R. Now we join QR. So in joining QR we get PQRS as the parallelogram in which one side, its height and one angle were given to us. So we have PQRS is the required parallelogram. So this completes the session. Hope you have understood how to construct the parallelogram when its two sides and height are given to us. Also when its height, one side and diagonal are given to us. And also we can draw a parallelogram when its one side, one angle and height are given to us.